Hello, good evening. Good evening, teach. Hello, Claudia Raeta. Hello. Hello. Hello, Anna. Good evening. Hello, Elias. Hello, Ana Maria Lopez. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Thank you. Bueno, hay un microfonito que está haciendo interferencia. So, welcome to this course. How are you? Claudia Iraeta, how are you tonight? Fine, very fine. Okay, everything is fine. Okay, excellent. And Ana Landa Verde, how are you? Very good, teacher. Okay, you are good. Ana is good tonight. And Elias, how are you tonight? Good, good. Okay, Elias is good. Excellent. And Ana Maria, how are you? Thank you. And you? I'm okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot for asking me. And how was your day today? How was your day? Was it good, bad? Oh, my day is, is very tight. No, oh, so your, your day was very busy, very tired. I'm so sorry to hear that. Don't worry. At 9 p.m., we're going to go to sleep right? and we're going to rest a lot. So yes, wait one hour, one hour. You can do it. I'm sure that you can do it. And Claudia, how was your day today? <coughs> your microphone, your microphone is off. Uh, well, working hard. <laughs> oh, you worked hard today. Uh, it was a busy day. Okay, yes. interesting. And hello, Carla yes. Campos. Thank Welcome you. to the class. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. So let's see, my name is Ever Nieto and I'm going to be in charge of help you to learn a lot in this English course. So welcome everyone, uh, welcome to the class. And it's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So today we're going to start learning many things. Are you ready to learn new things, new vocabulary, new sentences? We are going to have a great time learning tonight. Ready. Okay, so nice to meet you, Claudia. Nice to meet you, Anna. Nice to meet you, Maria. Yes, nice teacher. to meet you, Elias. And nice to meet you, Carla. Hello, Juliana. Juliana Gomez, welcome to the class. And here is Valmore, here is Ubuntu. Well, let's start with tonight's class. The first thing we're going to study today are some, let's see, some instructions or some advices or some things that you need to know. Everybody has access to the platform. Ya todos tienen acceso a la plataforma. Ya probaron los enlaces, probaron si su correo funciona y la contraseña asignada también. Yes, yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Excelente. 
So before to start the, the topic of today, I just want to say welcome. Welcome to this English course. As, as I said before, my name is Ever Nieto and it's a pleasure to meet you. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please tell me if you can see it? Can you see my screen? Okay, thank you, Claudia. Claudia say yes. So thank you very much. So let's see this. So welcome. Welcome to the beginner number three course. My name is Ever Nieto, I said. So here are some requirements that you need to know. Aquí están algunos requerimientos que necesitamos que usted lleve durante todo el curso. Y el primero, ¿verdad? Es que tiene que poner su nombre completo ahí en Zoom, ¿verdad? En, en esta cuenta tiene que poner su nombre completo para poder llamarlo por su nombre. ¿verdad? Tiene que encender su cámara durante la sesión. A veces el internet está un poco lento y es necesario apagar la cámara para para seguir conectados, bueno, entonces en ese caso sí es válido. Eh, puede hacerlo, puede buscar un lugar donde el sonido ambiente sea bajo, sea un poco bajo, que no haya mucha bulla, porque si no a los compañeros les duelen los oídos, bueno, cuando ladra el perrito, canta el gallo por ahí, o grita a alguien. Bueno. Entonces tenemos que minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más que podamos. Y voy a pedirles una participación activa durante la clase. Usted va a poder participar. No tenga miedo de interrumpir para preguntar. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta, solo hágala. Pregunte, participe. En el punto número 5, asistencia. Tiene que participar en todas las sesiones virtuales. Al 100%, desafortunadamente, no hay permisos. Tienen que estar todas las noches conectados a las 8 en punto. Y terminamos a las 9. Al 100%. Nuestro horario es de lunes a jueves. De lunes a jueves vamos a estarnos conectando de 8 a 9 de la noche. Las tareas y evaluaciones. Homeworks and evaluation. Es necesario cumplir con el 80% de tareas y evaluaciones. Pero como nosotros somos estudiantes grandiosos, vamos a llegar al 100%. El 80% no nos sirve. Vamos por el 100%. Vamos por el 100% en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces vamos a estar recordándoles ¿verdad? que tiene que trabajar en esos ejercicios y por supuesto pendientes para poder colaborarles si tienen problemas con algún ejercicio, alguna pregunta, algún video que no se reproduzca dentro de la plataforma. Ustedes escriben en el grupo de WhatsApp y con gusto les vamos a ayudar. Las tareas y evaluaciones se encuentran todas dentro de la plataforma. No sé si ya navegaron por las cinco secciones de la plataforma. Ya vamos a ver, son cinco secciones las que tenemos que cubrir durante este curso. Y hay dos exámenes. El examen de medio curso o midterm exam. And the final exam. Y el examen final. Y en la plataforma nos permite equivocarnos. El, el objetivo de la plataforma es que aprendamos. Por eso tiene la opción de corregir. Si usted se equivoca en un ejercicio, puede perfectamente corregirlo sin ningún problema. No va a tener ningún problema y tampoco le va a restar nota. Que usted lo haga una, dos, tres o cuatro veces. Eh, lo importante ¿verdad? es que usted aprenda, que usted practique en esos ejercicios por esas razones que no le baja puntos. Puede equivocarse dentro de la plataforma. Let me see. Don't be afraid of mistake. We all are learning. So don't forget about this phrase. Durante todo el curso, no se olvide de esta frase. Don't be afraid of mistake. No le tenga miedo a los errores. We all are learning. Todos estamos aprendiendo. Y en algún punto nos vamos a equivocar. Nobody is perfect. Nadie es perfecto. And we are learning. So don't be afraid of mistake. Usted participe. Si se equivocó, I say yes, smile, right? Smile and try again. A sonreír y a intentarlo una vez más. 
And remember this, don't forget this, the more you practice, the better you get. The more you practice, the better you get. Entre más practique, mejor va a llegar a ser. In this beautiful and interesting language and useful tool that we are going to learn. So don't forget about these two phrases. ¿Cuál es la primera frase? ¿Quién la quiere leer? A volunteer to read the first phrase. Don't be afraid of mistake. We all are learning. Who wants to read the phrase? A volunteer tonight. Vete si puedo. Ok, try it. I'm okay. sure you can. <laughs> Don't be afraid of mistake. We all are learning. Ok, excellent. Excellent job. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer to read the second phrase? Your teacher. Ok, Ana. Don't be afraid of mistake. We are learning. Thank you very much. You did a great job. You did a great job. Uh, let's see. The next one. The more you practice, the better you get. Who wants to participate? Any volunteer? Any volunteer tonight? Nobody wants. Que creo que Ana tiene interferencia en su micrófono. Ok, the more you practice, the better you get. Don't forget that. Bueno, solo por esta vez los voy a, vamos a dejarlo así. The next time I'm going to choose someone. So, let's see, I'm going to show you. Voy a mostrarles también la plataforma. In which we are going to practice. So, give me a second. I'm sharing this with you. Here is it. I'm sharing my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it, please? Can you see the web page? Can you see the platform? Yes. Let me know, please. Yes, okay, thanks a lot. So this is where you're going to find in the platform. This is section one, section two, section three, section four, and section five. So we have five sections and every section has many videos, many exercises, and many information that is useful for you. So as I said before, at the end of section number three, we are going to find the meter exam. Vamos a encontrar el examen de medio curso, meter exam. And at the end of section number five, we are going to find the final exam. It has five equations in the meter and six equations in the final exam. So let's see. En la plataforma, usted puede avanzar tanto como desee o tanto como pueda. No tiene que ir esperando las clases. Si cuando usted está resolviendo los ejercicios, Tiene alguna duda, puede escribir en el grupo de WhatsApp y con gusto yo le voy a ayudar. ¿verdad? Si no, a veces los compañeros también del curso que ya han, que ya han hecho esa parte, ayudan, ¿verdad? pueden ayudarse entre ustedes también. En la primera sección, we are going to find the next topic. And it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer a yes, no question. And that is not, that is the second goal. This is the first objective. By the end of this class, you will learn months and dates. So this is the topic for today, months and dates. Additionally, you will learn about birth dates. También vamos a aprender acerca de los cumpleaños. That is the topic for today. So don't forget this, right? No se le olvide, en la plataforma usted va a encontrar el objetivo de la lección de video, un video explicativo. A veces se cubren dos temas, como en este caso tenemos dos objetivos y después tenemos la, primer, el, la primera práctica o el primer ejercicio que usted va a resolver. Y it is a listening. Es un listening. Acá le da play, va a escuchar y va a responder acá las preguntas. 
selecciona las respuestas, selecciona todas las respuestas y le da acá. No se le olvide dar clic acá en enviar para que quede grabada su respuesta. Si usted quiere saber ¿verdad? cuál es su progreso, cuánto ha avanzado en la plataforma, se viene acá a la pestaña donde dice progreso. Y acá le va a aparecer un gráfico. Va a aparecerle un gráfico. En este momento no hemos completado nada. No nos aparece nada. Pero acá le va a aparecer el gráfico de su avance. Cuánto ha avanzado en la plataforma. No se le olvide que puede avanzar. Desde este momento usted puede comenzar a resolver los ejercicios de la plataforma hasta terminarlo sin ningún problema. Si va teniendo dudas, dificultades en el camino, puede consultarlo ¿verdad? antes de la clase para poder verlo en la clase o después de la clase. Otra opción es escribir al grupo de WhatsApp para poder ayudarle a solventar sus dudas o sus problemas que tengan en la plataforma. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Do you have any question? No, teacher. No question. Ok, excelente. No question. No question. Ok, perfecto. Then let's start with tonight's class. Ok, no question. Bueno, es, recuerde que puede preguntar, ¿verdad? En cualquier momento de la clase, si a usted le surge una duda, solo levanta su manita virtual. Levanta ahí su manita virtual y... O puede hacer la pregunta. Y una pregunta. ¿Quieren ser llamados por su nombre? Like Ivonne, Ana, Catherine. Or do you want to hear Miss Ivonne, Miss Ana, Miss Brenda? Miss Claudia, or just your name? Just name. Uh, no, name. Just name. the name. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. the name. Conmigo hay Ansi porque hay también Ana María. <laughs> oh, Entonces, okay. mi nombre es Ana Yancy. Ajá. Ahí lo voy a modificar a la hora de, de ingresar. Okay, excelente. So, Jancy, Jancy, I'm going to take note. So, Jancy, so you can call me ever, you can call me teacher. No problem with it. No problem with that. So, any other question? Any other comment? If no, let's start with tonight's class. So, thank you very much. Here we go. And this is the first topic we're going to study. When is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es su cumpleaños? ¿Les gustan los cumpleaños o no les gustan? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes of yes. course, right? Yes, present, money, new cell phone, travel. Some trips. So, when is your birthday? This is the first topic. Cuando es su cumpleaños? We're going to learn today how to answer this question. When is your birthday? But before to go to the question, we are going to remember the months, the months of the year. Do you know the months of the year? Do you already know the months of the year? ¿Se acuerdan de los meses del año? Yes, January, February, March, April, June, July, uh, May, July, June, July, uh, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Thank you very much. So let's see the first one. The first one is January. January, February, March, April. May, June. Y aquí nos empezamos a afligir, ¿verdad? Que ya el año va de bajadita. May, July, August, September, October, November, and finally we have December. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, 
October, November, and December. What is your favorite month? What is your favorite month? Do you have a favorite month? What is it? November, December. 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 Oh, December. So November. November. Okay. We are close to your favorite December, month. December. December. Okay. Los que dijeron noviembre porque le gusta la canción, ¿verdad? En noviembre sin ti. En December. Why December? ¿Por qué diciembre? Why December? Why do you like December? El Christmas. Christmas. Oh, Christmas celebration. Ok. Yes. My birthday. Oh, Miriam say my birthday. Yes, my birthday and that is. Oh, my birthday and can you please repeat? Party. Oh, the party. birthday. Party, okay. Christmas party or parade? Desfiles or fiesta? Uh, fiesta. Oh, party, party then. Okay, at the end of the month, we have a lot of party, right? So dancing, el atol de lote, which other one? Las de Aniceto Molina, que no pueden faltar, right? So, la bala. Ah, la bala, ok, excelente. ¿Les gusta la versión antigua o la versión nueva? Both. Both, antigua. both of them. Both. both of them, ok. They are good songs. Ok, for dancing. They are perfect for dancing. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So let's see, ¿cómo vamos a decir fechas? So that is important to learn. Ahora ya conocemos los meses, ¿verdad? I need a volunteer, please, to read the months of the years. Who wants to participate? Who wants to participate reading the months of the year? Me, teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Can you please start? January, February, March, April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, excellent. So any other volunteer, please? Any other volunteer? Who wants to participate? The teacher. Okay, can see. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yes, hello. Can you please turn off your microphone? Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So let's continue. Uh, to say dates, para hablar acerca de fechas, dates, we are going to need these ordinal numbers. Do you have any idea what is an ordinal number? We have two type of number, cardinal and ordinal numbers. So which one are the ordinal numbers? In Spanish, ¿cuáles son los números ordinales? Do you remember them? Ordinal numbers. So ordinal number express order, expresan un orden. En español son primero, segundo, tercero. Primero, en... segundo. And so on, right? So in English, it's the same ordinal numbers. And we have these for 10 numbers, ordinal numbers. So we have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, ninth, tenth. So look at this. Primero is first, segundo, second. Tercero, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Al final, a partir del número cuatro, se oye un sonido. Fifth. Oh, que se dice fourth. Su lengua va a ir en medio de los dientes para producir ese sonido. 
Can you practice? Do it. Try it. It's like. Okay, that is the sound. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So we are going to pronounce in this way these numbers. So a volunteer, please to read the first 10 ordinal numbers from first to 10th. Who wants to participate? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, seventh, eight, nine, ten. Okay, thank you, Ana Maria. Excellent job. Thank you very much. So any other volunteer who wants to practice first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Yes, teacher. Okay, Anna, thank you. Chances so. of fifth, second, fifth, fourth, fifth. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let's see the next. 11, 12, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 20th. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So then we are going to learn until the 31st. Vamos a necesitar hasta el 31, ¿verdad? O el 31 primero. Porque son los días que trae un mes. Estos son los días que trae un mes. Y vamos a necesitar estos números para hablar acerca de date, fechas. So after 20th, we have 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Then. 30th. So we are going we are going to practice we are going to practice in the next part. So let's see who wants to read the first one. What is that number? Eight. Eight. Eighteenth. 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 Okay, that is eighteenth. Excellent. Let's see the next one. Twelve. 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 The next. Fifteen. 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 Excellent. Let's see the next one. This is an easy one. Ten. 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 Let's see the next one. Twenty. 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 Let's see the next one. 21st. 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 Thank you very much. It's 21st. 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 It is not fierce. It's first. 21st. 21st. Is it five or fifth? Fifth. 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 Thirty first. Excellent. Thirty first. And the next one. Second. Second. Excellent. Second. And this other one. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. 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 And the next one. Third. 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 Third.
En el next one, el más difícil, the most difficult. First. 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 Okay. First. Todos queremos ser el number first. 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 Ah, okay, first of course, right? First. El primero, right? First. Sí, el primero. First. Always the first. 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 Okay, now let's see. Let's practice with moms. We are going to say with mom. So, ¿qué fecha es esa? Huh? What is the day? June 15th. June 15th. Okay, June 15th. Let's see the next one. January 13th. January 13th. Okay, January 13th. January 13th. Okay. It's January 13th. Excellent. 13. In this one? December 29th. December 20, 25th. Okay, is this 25 or 25th? 25th. 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 December 25th. Okay, sí, ¿Cómo, sí. ¿cómo amanecen ese día? Con muchos ánimos, felices, Dormo. o cansaditos, <ríe> dormiditos. Ok. De goma. <ríe> También, ¿verdad? También los que se ponen alegres, el 24th. Amanecen cansaditos, December 25th. Let's see the next one. May, May. 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 Okay, May 11. May 11. May 11. Thank you, May 11. Okay. Los que ya son mamá ese día, ¿verdad? Contando el regalo. May 11. In July. 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 20. 20th. Muy bien, 20th. 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 It's my birthday. Oh, that is your birthday. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that is a happy date. So July yes. 20th July. is your birthday. <laughs> so party, beards. Let's see next, 21st. 21st. Oh, wow. What about this one? Pijama. September 5th. September 5th. September 5th. September 5th. And the next one? October 31st. October 31st. ¿Quién, quién, ¿Quién cumpleaños esa fecha? Nobody. Nobody. Okay. Okay. October 31st. Let's see this one. What is the day? November 2nd. November 2nd. And the next one? March, March 9th. March 9th. March 9th. March 9th. February. 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 April 1st. April 1st. ¿Quién se alegra cuando ya es April? ¿Quién se alegra cuando ya es abril? Easter week vacation. ¿Alguien en April? Oh, no, no tenemos vacaciones. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's see this. After this practice, now we know the months and also the ordinal numbers. And we need both of them to talk about date. But specifically, we are going to answer this question. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Cuando es su cumpleaños. So we are going to use this structure to answer this question. The special day, the verb being, plus the preposition on, plus month, plus date. In this way, we are going to answer this question. So look at the example. 
When is your birthday? My birthday is on January 31st. ¿Cuándo es su cumpleaños? Mi cumpleaños es en enero 31, ¿verdad? O el trigésimo primer día de enero. My birthday is on January 31st. So, a special date, verb be, preposition on, month, and the date. This is the way we are going to answer this question. Look at this other example. When is your mother's birthday? When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is on December 16th. And this other example, when is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is on February 10th, 20th, sorry. My father's birthday is on February 20th. So here is the question. When is your birthday? Let me choose someone. Let's see. Elias, when is your birthday? Mm -hmm. My birthday is on Janu January mm, 25th. Okay, my birthday is on January 21st. Oh, sorry, 25th, you say, 25th. Okay, perfect answer, I think. Thanks a lot, Elias. Can you please choose one of your classmates? Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Just tell me the name. Uh, Sheila, do you have a question? Eh, yes. Solo quiero preguntarle a mí a veces me cuesta decir birthday, o sea, porque se dice eh, se pronuncia a veces mal como birthday. Solo la, la correcta pronunciación. Okay, thank you for your question. Now let's see this the sound we are going to pronounce is like the end of the ordinal numbers, como el final de los números, números ordinales. Ponemos nuestra lengua en medio de los dientes y decimos bird, birthday, birthday. So, birthday, birthday. Tenemos que hacer la pronunciación de esta TH, right? Like, birthday, birthday para poder pronunciar correctamente esta palabra. So, birthday. You say bird, then you say birthday. Okay, I'm going to send a link on the WhatsApp group for you to practice the pronunciation of this word at the end of the class. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So then you... You will watch the video, I'm sure of that. So let's continue. Let's choose another, let's see. Victoria Bermudez, can you answer this question, please? When is your birthday? When is my your birthday, birthday? My birthday is on June 2nd. June 2nd, excellent, thank you. Let's choose another one, let's see. Let me choose. Elena Martinez, can you please answer the question? When is your birthday? Birthday. Uh, my birthday is February fifth. Fifth. Uh, February fifth. Fifth. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, any volunteer to answer this question? When is your birthday? When's your birthday? Thank you. And my birthday is on May 29th. On May 29th. Okay, thanks a lot. Any other volunteer? The last volunteer. Yes, teacher. Thank you. My birthday, birthday is on November. Twenty-seven. 
The current match, so she said, my birthday is on November 27th. Ok. Todavía vamos a estar en clase, ¿verdad? Podemos partirle un pastel. So, let's see. Hay una segunda manera de responder esa pregunta. Si solo queremos decir el mes y no queremos decir la fecha, tenemos que hacerlo de la siguiente manera. Special day, verb be, preposition in, plus the month, más el mes. So, día especial, ¿verdad? Oh, my third day, verb be, is, en lugar de on, vamos a utilizar in, in April. My third day is in April. Cuando estemos diciendo solo el mes, tenemos que utilizar in. Pero si vamos a decir el mes y la fecha exacta, tenemos que utilizar on. So, don't forget that. It's important. So, in this case, my birthday is on January 31st. And in the other one, you don't say the date. Usted no dice la fecha, solo el mes. My birthday is in April. Mi cumpleaños es en abril. So, when is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is in May. When is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is in June. So let's practice. We're going to have this practice again. So first question. Any volunteer to answer the first question? When is your wife's birthday? When in este caso, let's see. Los chicos, ¿verdad? Los chicos de la clase sería Balmore, Elías. So, when is your wife's birthday? Sería. Oh, sería my wife. My wife's birthday is on. Ah, ya ven, por esta pregunta han habido divorcio. Se les olvidó la fecha. <laughs> Se les olvidó la fecha del cumpleaños de la esposa. So, when is your wife's birthday? Any volunteers to answer this question? Oh, then let's see. Veamos. A las chicas si se acuerdan. When is your husband's birthday? Me when teacher. Is... Thank you, Katherine. Tell me. My husband is... My husband's birthday is... Bueno, creo que se le está yendo la señal ¿verdad? a Katherine. Any other volunteer to answer this question? When is your husband's birthday? Yo, teacher. Thank you, Miriam. So tell me, please. Yusban, eh, birthday is in December. Oh, okay, excellent. My husband's birthday is in December. Perfect. Any other volunteer? ¿Quién se acuerda de la fecha de cumpleaños? Tell me. My husband birthday is August night. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. My husband's birthday is on August 9th. El 9 de agosto. Perfect. Now let's see the next question. When is your best friend's birthday? First question. Do you have a, be a best friend? Sorry. Do you have a best friend? ¿Tienen mejor amigo o amiga? Do you have a best friend? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, do you remember when is your best friend's birthday? Yes, teacher. 
My best friend's birthday is um, on 25th and December. Oh, okay. so December 25th. Perfect. Thank you. My best friend's birthday is on December 25th. Ok. Bueno, ni modo, se lo celebran el 24 para ahorrar. December 24th. Eh, any, uh, anyone? Any other volunteer to answer this question? When is your best friend for day? Teacher. Tell me, please. My best friend's uh, birthday is in April. April. It's, in, it's in April. Ok, thanks a lot. Let's see the next question. When is your brother or sister birthday? My sister birthday is um October 18. Perfect. Hey, teacher. Tell me. My brother is uh, November. My sister birthday in October. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So I say my brother's birthday is in September and my sister's birthday is in November. Sheila dice, perdón, no escucho por un ruido. Ok, so let's see. Let's go with the links. Yes, tell me. Yo, my sister is in June 12. En, en en brother is fe, February 28th. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, just a second. My, yeah. my sister birthday is on September 9th. Thank you very much. Any other answer? Any other answer? When is your brother or sister birthday? Let's go for the next one then. Let's see the last one, the last question. When is your mother's birthday or when is your father's birthday? You can answer any of them. When is your mother's birthday and when is your father's birthday? Your teacher. Thank you, Anna. My mother's birthday in March. And my father's birthday in May. Okay, thank you. So you say my mother's birthday is in March. My father's birthday is in May. Thanks a lot. Any other answer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Catherine. My mother's birthday is um February um, 10th. My father's birthday is um February uh, 12. Thank you very much. Excellent answer. Thank you. Perfect job. Thanks a lot. Any other volunteer? The last, the last volunteer who wants to participate, who wants to answer this equation. When is your mother's birthday? When is your father's birthday? Your teacher. Thank you, Miriam. My mother's birthday is in 15 June. My father's birthday is in April 20, 20. 20th. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Very good answer. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. So let's see, we're going to practice in this. A special date, special days in El Salvador. 
So when is Independence Day in El Salvador? When is? September, September 5th. Excellent, Elena. Thank you. Independence Day is on September 15th. When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? May 10th. May 10th. Okay, excellent. Mother's Day is on May 10th. Sign Valentine's Day. February 14th. February 14th. February 14th. Excellent. Sign Valentine's Day is on February 14th. And when is Teacher's Day in El Salvador? Teacher's Day 16th. Second. Twenty second. And June 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 sixteen. June sixteen. Okay. Okay. Bueno. Bueno. Let's go with the next one. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> it's on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so sad, right? I'm so sad right now. Uh, New Year's Day. When is New Year's Day in El Salvador? New Year's mm -hmm. Day. December 31st. January 1st. January 1st. New Year's, ah, uh, yes. January 1st. Okay, yes. New Year's Day is on January 1st. And the last one, Christmas Eve Day. Christmas Eve Day. When is Christmas Eve Day? December 25. 25th. 25th. No, I'm sorry. 24. 24th. December 24th. Ok, lo que entiendo. Entonces se dan los abrazos, entonces ya es 25. <laughs> sí. Ok, no, but it, in this case, significa vísperas. Las vísperas de Navidad. So, el 24 nos desvelamos esperando, en el que llegue Christmas, que es el día 25. So, yes. si leemos aquí New Year's Eve, sería el 31, ¿eh? 31st, New Year's Eve Day. So, let's see, Independence Day is on September 15th. Mother's Day is on May 10th. San Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Teacher Day is on June 22nd. And New Year's Day is on January 1st. And the last one, Christmas Eve Day is on December 24th. I volunteer to practice a sentence one to three, please. One, two, and three. I volunteer to read the sentence number one, number two, and also number three, please. Who wants to participate? Independence Day is on September. Fifteenth. Mother's Day is on May tenth. Okay. So Valentine's Day is on February fourteenth. Fourteenth. Today. Uh, can you please turn off your microphone? Okay, let's see. I'm so sorry. Um, let me see. Okay. And there is a microphone that Mason interprets. I guess it's Anna. Anna Yancy. Microphone. So let's see. The next one is. Number four, please. Teacher's Day. Teacher's Day Thanks. is on June 
twenty second. Okay, thank you. Don't forget this, right? Don't forget this day is important. So teacher day is on June twenty second. <laughs> <laughs> number five, number five, please. Who wants to read number five? New Year's Day is on January 1st. First, thank you. And the last one, number six. Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, Eve Day is on December 24th. Thank you. Christmas Eve Day is on December 24th. Thank you. Let's go with the next thing. We're going to continue practice. I need two volunteers at this part of the class who wants to participate. Two volunteers who say me. Say me and your name, please. And two volunteers. My favorite, my favorite month is July and December. Okay, July and December. But this is a small conversation. This is a small conversation. So I need two volunteers. Who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Uh, who say me? Say hey, me. Like, hey, Raya. Me? What is your favorite month? Okay, so yeah, Anna and Catherine. Yes. Okay, Anna, you are A, Catherine, you are B. So you can start practicing. What is your favorite month? My favorite mom is July. Why do you like July? Because the weather is hot and it is my birthday. Nice. My favorite mom is August. Wife, do you have a birthday in August? No, but I have vacation. Good reason. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. So I have vacation. No, but I have vacation. So August. Nice. My favorite month is August. Um, and my, what is your favorite month? My favorite month is July. Why do you like July? Because the weather. What is the meaning of this word? Weather. Weather. The climate. Yes, you are right, because the weather is hot. What is the meaning of hot? Caliente. Caliente. Okay, excellent. And it is my birthday. Yes, mi cumpleaños. Nice. My favorite month is August. Why? Do you have a birthday in August? No, but I have vacation. Good reason. Nada mejor que las vacaciones, right? No, but I have vacation. Good reason. Uh, two volunteers. Two volunteers to practice and this part. Who wants to participate? Other two volunteers. Me, Victoria. Victoria and, sí. and Elena. Victoria and Elena. Thank you very much. So Victoria, you are going to be A, and Elena, you are going to be B. You can start, please. Okay. What is your favorite month? My favorite month is July. Why do you like why do you like July? Because the water is hot is my birthday. Nice. My favorite month is August. Why? Do you have birthday in August? No, but I have vacation. Good reason. Thank you very much. Very good job. Thank you. Let's see the next one. So look at this small conversation and it says, hey, Sally, will you come to my birthday party? When is your birthday party, Lisa? It's on May 2nd. That's next month. No, it isn't. No, it isn't next month. Yes, it is, Lisa. We are in April and next month is May. So two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice? Who say me? Say me and your name, please. Nobody wants to participate. No se peleen. Me, Victoria. <laughs> okay, Victoria and... Yo, teacher. Miriam. Yo. Okay, Victoria and Miriam. So, Victoria, you are A. Miriam, you are B. 
Okay. Okay. Hey, Sally. Will you come to my birthday party? Your birthday party, Lisa? It's on May 2nd. It's on May 2nd. Yes, it is, Lisa. We are in April and next month is May. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> Dejaron una línea, ¿verdad? Sin decirle, but it's okay. It's okay. Good practice. Thanks a lot. So let's go over the next. The next is my conversation. So it says, when is your birthday, Freddy? It's on August 31st. That's the same day as Halloween. No, it isn't. Halloween is on October 31st. I see. So we're going to also practice this small conversation. Who wants to practice? Say me and your name, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, Catherine and... Yo. Elias, thanks a lot. Catherine and Elias. Sí, Okay. Okay, I, I okay. guess it's you can start, please. When when is your birthday, Freddy? It's it's on August thirty first. That the same same date is Halloween. No, it is in Halloween. It's on o October 31st. I see. Okay, thanks a lot. So August 30, 31st. That's the same day as Halloween. As Halloween. Halloween. Halloween is on Halloween. October 31st. I see. Do you like Halloween? Do you like Halloween? Halloween celebration? No, I don't like. No, I don't. No, I don't like. Oh, I... No, you don't like. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I guess this is the last one, the last for today. So look at this conversation. It says, "When is fall in America? When is fall in America? It is in September, October, November, and December." Oh, how that is a spring in New Zealand. When is fall in New Zealand? It is in March, April, May, and June. Oh, cool. So, what is the meaning of fall? Fall. What is the meaning of fall? Do you remember? Otoño, muy bien. Fall. When is fall in America? It is in September, October, November, and December. Oh, how? That is spring in New Zealand. What's the meaning of spring? Primavera. Primavera. That's Primavera. the correct Primavera. meaning. Primavera. When is fall in New Zealand? It is in March, April, May, and June. Oh, cool. To volunteer to practice this last conversation for tonight. This is the last conversation. Who wants to practice? Your teacher. Who say me? Say me and your name, please. And me, Sheila. Sheila. Ana Yancy, teacher. Okay, Ana and Sheila, can you please practice? Ana, you are A, Sheila, you are B. Okay. Wait. When is fun? Um, I'm so sorry, but Ana, we can't listen to you. Ana, no podemos escucharle. Su micrófono es el... Es interferencia. El mío, Ticho. Yes. Ah, 
tiene algún otro aparato cerca? No. No, dicho, estoy retirada. Okay. Okay, we are going to change that. Bueno, voy a comenzar. Okay. When it's cold in America. It's in, in September, October, November, and December. Oh, cold that is spring in New Zealand. When is fall in New Zealand? It is in March, April, May, and June. Oh, cool. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry, Anna, but we couldn't hear you. No pudimos escucharla. Uh, but thank you to Elias and also to... Who was practicing? What's your name? Elena, right? Were you Elena? Hola, hola, hola. Perdón, perdón. Me perdí. Okay, Elena and any other who wants to participate? Elena and eh, okay. oh, say me, say me and your name, please. Brenda Vida. Okay, Brenda. Elena and Brenda. So Elena, you are A and Brenda, you are B. You can start, please. Okay. When is fall in America? It is in September, October, November, and December. Oh, how that is spring New, Ze New Zealand? When is fall in New Zealand? It is in March, April, May, and June. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you very much. So the team we are going to stop the class here. Uh, tell me, uh, ¿qué aprendimos el día de hoy? Do you remember that? Can you please tell me, ¿qué aprendimos el día de hoy? Moms, moms. Okay, days. How to say days? days. The, okay. the ordinal numbers and also the months of the year. And tomorrow we are going to study the future tense. Mañana estudiamos el tiempo futuro utilizando la estructura be going to. Okay, do you have any question? Do you have any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Eh, sí, yo no. tengo una. Eh, si no, pueden mandar la presentación eh, por medio del chat. Yes, of course. Yeah, I'm, going to I'm going to share the presentation with you. At the end of the class, I'm going to send the presentation and also the link of the video. También el video de la clase. Any other question? No question. No question. No question. No question. Okay, guys, then no it, has, it has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Not Thanks sure. a lot. Thanks a lot for your puntuality, for your participation, and also for your attention. Uh, you can start, you can start uh, working on the platform exercises and evaluation. Ya, si todos tienen acceso a la plataforma, desde el día de hoy pueden comenzar a trabajar. Si les queda por ahí un tiempo, eh, en los anuncios de la novela, ¿verdad? pueden avanzar en los ejercicios. <risa> bueno, si les queda por ahí un tiempo libre ya pueden ir avanzando ¿verdad? en los ejercicios eh, recuerde que no tiene que esperar a que veamos no tiene que esperar a que veamos la clase ¿verdad? usted puede avanzar tanto como quiera en la plataforma sin ningún problema entre más avance mejor ¿verdad? tenemos que comenzar ya a trabajar en esa plataforma so I'm sure that you can do it estoy seguro que lo pueden hacer uh, if you don't have any other question, see you tomorrow. Si no hay otra pregunta, nos vemos el día de mañana. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ana, Ana, ahorita le, le mando el link del grupo de WhatsApp.
Give me a second, please. Just a second. No se desconecte, Ana. Ya le mando el link. Ok, ahorita acá les comparto el link para que se puedan unir. Ok, María Luz, aquí le envío el enlace. Intente agregarse en este momento y me dice si lo logró, por favor. <coughs> 